Hello everyone. In this tutorial video we'll guide you through uploading a 3D model and accurately positioning it in your site plan. We'll also touch on some options to modify your model. To start, click on Buildings from the command dock and select BIM Import. You have a few options to select your source file. You can upload a model from your computer by clicking Upload File. To add BIM models already uploaded to your project, select From Project or select From Integration to upload and sync model versions directly from a linked Autodesk Construction Cloud project. For more information about the integration with ACC, refer to our user guide. CM Builder accepts RVT, IFC 2x3, IFC 4, FBX, and STEP files. Note that the file size limit is 1.5 GB. Our recommended file type is a Revit file under 1 GB. Click Upload File and select the BIM models you want to import. Note that for Revit and IFC files, you can select which BIM classes you want to convert and remove from the scenario. This is an efficient way to filter out objects in your model that you do not need in CM Builder to make it easier to focus on what matters to your work and to optimize performance. We recommend keeping only the main BIM classes for structural elements and exterior architecture at first. Click Upload, and the model will be uploaded to your scenario. Once uploaded, to rename your model, simply click the pencil icon at the top of the model menu and enter a new name. The default position of the imported model on the map is determined by the model origin point. You have a few options to adjust the positioning of your model. First, let's look at how to manually position your 3D model using Move and Rotate. We suggest using a drawing to help with this process. Activate the positioning handles by right-clicking on the 3D model and selecting either Edit BIM Model or the Move button. You can also right-click on the model element in the tree and select Edit BIM Model. The model menu will appear on the right-hand side and the different positioning options will appear on the edge of this menu. Click the Move button and use the movement arrows or planes to manually position the model in the X, Y, and Z directions. Check and utilize the model's project origin, site origin, and bounding box center by selecting the respective options from the drop-down. You can use a user-defined origin. Under User Origin, click Relocate Handles, then select a point anywhere in the viewer to manually reposition the handles. You can also view and edit the X, Y, or Z global position from the corresponding fields. Now, to rotate your model. Click the Rotate button and use the dials to rotate the model in the three different axes. Hold Shift to rotate in increments of 45 degrees. The next option to position your model is by using a reference geometry using the Snap to Functions. Click Rotate 2 to rotate your model parallel to a reference plane. Click Move 2 to align your model with a face on the reference plane. Similarly, click the Snap To button to rotate and move the model using a reference plane. Another option is to position your model using a previously positioned model. Click Snap To Position using another model to align the model using the origin point of another imported model. You can also click Center Model on Map Tile to move the model to the center of the map tile. Finally, if your model has geo-coordinates, it can be geolocated on the map. To geolocate a model, right-click on the 3D model in the viewer or from the tree and select Edit BIM Model. In the Model Side panel, click Move. Select the project origin from the drop-down. Ensure the Use Custom Coordinate System toggle is turned on, then select a coordinate system unit from the list. If you can't find the system you need, go to Project Settings to add one. Refer to our geolocation user guide for more info on this topic. You also have options to modify your imported BIM models in CM Builder. You can click Edit Tree Structure to remove model elements that you don't need, or to restore them. You can also split your model elements using the Split function. For example, you can break a single slab into multiple sections for concrete pore sequencing. Refer to our user guide to learn more about this feature.
Lastly, if you have uploaded an FBX file, you have the option to scale the model by selecting Scale Model Units and define the conversion units. Once you've adjusted your model, click the Done button at the bottom to exit the edit mode. That marks the end of this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial video.